we needed those officers to be on the street uh, fighting crime. And instead, we have several officers that are uh, riding around protecting America. The former police chief in South Suburban Dalton is speaking out for the first time to just one station about Mayor Tiffany Henyard's controversial police security detail and how it impacted his ability to fight crime. Last year, a Fox 32 investigation showed how that detail is taking officers off the street and costing taxpayers thousands of dollars in overtime. Dane Placco continues his investigation exclusively talking to the former top cop who tried to put a stop to it. The manpower was just very stressed and critical to the point of almost breaking. Former from Dalton shit. Police Chief that's, Robert that's, Collins that's, spoke to us from um, Florida exactly where he's taken a new shit. job what? after being fired by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard late last year. But Collins says he remains frustrated by what he experienced leading an undermanned, overworked police department while Mayor Henyard demanded a large personal security detail. You know, wrong is wrong and there's a time to hold people responsible and accountable for their actions. Last year, a Fox 32 investigation followed Henyard's detail as Dalton police officers drove her from morning till night, often to her second taxpayer-funded job as Thornton Township Supervisor in South Holland. Through an open records request, we found the officers assigned to Henyard racking up hundreds of hours of overtime, costing taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars. But at some point, there would be two officers or three officers. And depending on if there was some type of event, it would be more officers. That's for a town of a little more than 20,000 people that's struggling economically and usually only has a few officers on duty per shift. Collins says Henyard's security detail was warranted when it started in 2021 after a police-involved shooting sparked protests and threats. And at some point, the protests stopped. However, the detail continued. And it grew in size and scope. Colin says Henyard frequently uses the officers as her personal valets. Officers would be sent out to run errands, to do pickups. And, and the mayor's detail racked up thousands of dollars in travel expenses, accompanying Henyard on her many trips out of town. Why do you need a security detail while you're out of town? Um, who's on the other end of that flight? that's going to do harm. Collins says he became increasingly frustrated because the mayor's detail tied his hands when it came to fighting crime. Just last week, a mass shooting on Sibley Boulevard left four people injured. Collins believes the bad guys know there aren't enough cops on Dalton streets. But Village of Dalton has its challenges with gangs, guns, and drugs. And if those officers aren't there, the visibility isn't there. And if the visibility isn't there, then uh, criminals have free reign. When we tried to ask Mayor Henyard about her use of the detail last year, we were stopped by Village Administrator Keith Freeman. Let's Mayor, see. mind if I ask you a couple questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she says no. Collins says he got the same cold shoulder when he tried to tell Freeman about the problems the mayor's detail was creating. And, and it, it more or less was, these are the orders. This is what you have to do. Last week, Collins filed a civil lawsuit against the village of Dalton for wrongful termination, saying he was fired by the mayor without cause and without board approval because his wife is friends with some of the mayor's perceived political enemies. And uh, our contention is that it is illegal. Did he do anything wrong? No. Chief Collins, any position that he's ever been in is a policeman's policeman. He held the rank of chief but he's a patrolman at heart. But it is frustrating to see the officers used like that. I'm sure the officers are frustrated too, but they follow the orders. In Dalton, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. And we did send a list, of, a list of questions to the Dalton mayor's office to allow them to respond to the former chief's accusations. We have not yet received a reply tonight.